Hey everyone, Loganetics here, and here is System Test 67, with a lot of surprises. So we're going to change things up a bit and we're just going to start right here. Three, two, one. So, first big surprise, I now have an enunciator on the system, but you can see it's not a typical AN80 as it says Honeywell, and it says disablement, and it also has different functions. So this is a Honeywell 315-060. It's intended for Australian systems, but it does work on the firelight panel because it uses the AN bus. So, this is nice to have. It was sealed, and I'm pretty sure that's a dead bug behind the screen. Now, it wasn't there when I put this up, but since it's in a garage, which is open quite often, it's expected to get some type of dirt in here. So yeah, enunciator, pretty cool. Buttons make noise, which is nice. You can see that the functions, like I said earlier, are different. Now this is technically a rebrand of the Notifier and ANN80C. Basically that enunciator does not allow you to control the system. I'll turn the light on. So you can see that it just has step, local silence, lamp test, sounder test, but it works like a regular ANN80, which is nice because I got it for 20 bucks. I'll open it up. I would also use the notifier key. That's the inside. I used brown wire because I felt like it. But yeah, so you can see that we have system sensor masses and a classic. This is a system sensor mass 2475ADA. Modules like usual. Another Mass 2475 ADA. BG12LX. You can see that this is actually a newer style, just like the one I pulled at the start of the video. So now I actually have normal new style pull stations rather than my old one, which has an old cover but a new module because I repaired it, sorta. I don't think I showed this when I walked by the first time, but we also have an SD300. Now, sadly, these are getting kind of rare now, but it's basically an addressable. 2400. I don't know why Firelight didn't use plug-in models like all the other brands, but these are pretty cool to have. And like I said, they are rare, so they're usually like above $60, but I got this from a trade from my friend Hayden. Moving back to this side, we have a P24110, I believe, SD355, BG12LX, another new one. And you just heard something click. You could also hear that the, um, that the alarm sounded very clean. And you guys remember that sound at night booster panel. Well, I actually took it down and I put up something even better. Simplex 4009 ID net NAC extender. I'll go ahead and open it up. Now it does have NAC troubles because I haven't bought resistors yet, but I don't have it wired for proper supervision because it would throw troubles at the main panel. So once I get resistors, then I'll actually wire it the correct way. You can see we do got the batteries. And these are compatible with SmartSync too. So you know what that means. Now let's do some smoke testing. I remembered to heat up the fog machine this time. So here we go. Hope that doesn't set off the smoke alarms. I know I say that every time.
Here's something cool. You can hear the relays clicking. Now let's test the SD300. This one isn't as sensitive. Oh, never mind then. Now let's test the last BG-12. You can also see it's the new module. I actually disabled the key lock on this because it's just easier for my family if it goes off when I'm not home. So to reset on this, the buttons are mapped exactly like an N and 80. So instead of pressing reset, you press lamp test. And there we go. The screen is a bit slow to refresh, but that's not really a big issue. And the buttons are a little bit slow to respond, but that might just be an Anbus thing. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed all the surprises. And there is much, much more to come, especially devices being used on the 4009. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon.